Frank Sanchez could be in a very good position for a world title fight after the Cuban heavyweight showcased his concussive power, says co-manager Mike Borau. The unbeaten 28-year-old blasted Julian Fernandez out of the ring to secure the 17th victory of his career on the undercard of gym mate Saul Canelo Alvarez, who defeated Britain's Callum Smith on points in Texas last month. Sanchez has been sharpening his explosive skills with Eddie Reynoso, the hugely respected trainer of Canelo, and could be within striking distance of a world title shot after rapidly climbing the rankings. Image, Sanchez produced an explosive victory on the Canelo but Image, the fight was waved off after Sanchez punched his opponent out of the ring. Frank is currently WBO number 7, WBC number 12 and WBA number 12, Sanchez co-manager Mike Borau told Sky Sports. Frank made three defenses of his NABO title and the guys ahead of him, in WBO rankings, haven't fought in over a year and pool have just lost. I've predicted all along that Fury fights Joshua and, as a result, the WBO title gets vacated sometime in 2021 leaving mandatory challenger Usyk versus someone for the vacated title. I still believe that remains a likely scenario, but of course one never knows. If the WBO title is vacated in early 2021 as a result of Fury vs Joshua, Frank will be in a very good position to challenge for the WBO title, and he will no doubt shine. After teaming up with Reynoso in 2019, Sanchez even sparred with Canelo, and Borau is confident the former Cuban national champion will be ready to threaten any of his rivals. I think working with Eddie and Canelo is an incredible benefit to Frank, if for no other reason than the environment of champions surrounding him is going to bring out the best in Frank, said Borau. Frank is going to be very hard to beat backed by that kind of perfection and support. Frank feeds off the energy Eddie and Canelo put out. Eddie, Canelo, Ryan Garcia, it is a breeding ground for winners. Frank is going to be very hard to beat backed by that kind of perfection and support. Sanchez, who is also guided by co-manager Lupe Valencia, ended 2020 with two victories in two months and could soon resume his assault on the top division. Frank has worked hard over the past few months, fighting on major shows in November and December, said Borau. We are going to give him a break until mid to late January so his body can fully recharge. That said, I expect him back in the ring in late February or early March as Frank's services are in very high demand.